If your property is flooded, consider your personal safety first and contact your insurer as soon as possible. Insurers will do everything they can to help customers as quickly as is practically possible in the days, weeks and months after a major flood. Putting your home back together can take time. The Association of British Insurers or ABI split the process into six important steps. Firstly, the immediate aftermath. Secondly, assessing the damage and finding temporary accommodation. Thirdly, cleaning and stripping out. Fourthly, disinfecting and drying your home. Fifthly, repair and reconstruction work. And sixth, moving back into your home. Who's involved? Well, if your home is badly flooded, your insurer is likely to use a variety of specialists to ensure it is repaired as quickly as possible and to a high standard. This may include a loss adjuster to assess the damage and oversee the repair process, a surveyor to oversee major building works, a specialist cleaning and drying company, and professional builders and decorators. Your insurer or loss adjuster will explain to you the timetable for restoring your home, which specialists will be involved at each stage and how long each stage will take. So how long will it take? Well, your insurance or their designated loss adjuster will make every effort to have your house restored as soon as possible and will keep you updated throughout the way. But it could take up to a year or sometimes longer to rebuild and make your property usable again if flooding has severely damaged it. This is mostly because it takes time to adequately clean, dry out and perform any necessary repairs or restorations after a home has been flooded. As a general rule, those forced to leave their houses during significant flooding incidents do so within six to nine months. What about flood damaged items? Discuss with your insurance provider what to do with any furniture or rugs that may have been harmed by flooding. Although insurers might wish to inspect some damaged items, the ABI confirm that insurers will adopt a sensible attitude and won't demand that you hold on to anything that possesses a health risk for examination. A small piece of damaged carpet, for instance, might be enough to satisfy your insurer. Or you might be able to retain a record by taking images of the damaged objects with your camera or a smartphone.